Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. We are going to continue speaking about ultimate guides for the every single legion type in the game. Uh, we, I have already done uh, the ultimate guide about marksmen and mages and now it's time for us to speak about... Uh, the one of the most favorite legion type for the uh, tier 5 players infantry uh, in general infantry is the uh, for infantry the best version for playing that type of gameplay is for is to have a tier 5 units uh, simply because that's the time whenever you are uh, strong enough to defend against many different legion attacks that's when infantry actually shines uh, first of all, we are going to speak about, like, in uh, details uh, regarding the troop type, uh, which is uh, infantry. Like, so far, I'm a Wilderberg, and I will speak about the Axemen, right? In general, infantry troops has a high defense and a low attack, but also more than average HP. We are most vulnerable whenever we are playing as an infantry uh, against mage attacks, which means uh, mages are kind of countering our uh, legion type. The skills for the infantry is quite similar for every kind of every single uh, faction. Uh, like Berserker Charge, whenever you are getting closer to the enemy, you are having a small charge uh, until you're gonna collide, and uh, that's how you are joining the battle in general. It gives you like a couple of seconds whenever enemy is immobilized, like that's in the gameplay how it happens, uh, and that's how you can taunt the enemy to attack you, so you will deal a like, counter attack damage. Uh, like a smashing time, well, in general, infantry troop type is one of the best in terms of engineering, like uh, fastest way to build constructions and destroying the constructions are, of course, infantry uh, troops. Uh, perseverance, like each time the Legion loses 3% of its units, their physical defense uh, is increased. Well, it's fine, like main gameplay about infantry is uh, to, def to have high defense and to stay alive, right? And also like uh, this uh, last skill which has a different name for a different faction which basically means that even whenever ranged unit is hitting you uh, you are actually dealing counter attack damage also to them but 50%. Uh, so this is like a main troop type uh, like infantry troop type which uh, is basically if you like this type of gameplay just staying alive dealing counter attack damage and especially if you are a tier 5 player you are going to allow playing as an infantry for tier 4 players i think uh in general tier 4 stats are not enough uh, like if we're gonna compare uh to stay alive longer especially in a war situations and in wars whenever uh, you like you are getting hit by 10 and 15 legions you are pre pretty much are dead in couple of seconds and you don't have enough time to get uh, merits by the counter attack damage that's why uh, in general, infantry uh, gameplay is more, more suited for tier 5 players. Uh, now, the most important regarding infantry ultimate guide is, of course, hero pairs, which we have a variety of choices, uh, simply because uh, we already get a two, two new legendary infantry heroes in the last season. And even before, I think the most amount of uh, heroes in general we got is infantry, right? Uh, now, at first, though, I'm going to try to go from the bottom to top like i will mention every single uh, hero pair which is workable for infantry and i will uh, explain in details what each uh, hero pair is good at right uh, first of all i think one of the most weakest and um, like in general for darkling farming and experience gaining not for fighting uh, hero pair for infantry is uh, Garwood and uh, Eliana. Uh, the like most important uh, factor about this hero pair is to it, it's too easy to make them right. It's easy to awaken Eliana and Garwood. You can get from the gold keys. Uh, the synergy between Garwood and Eliana is of course uh, healing and shielding. And also, Eliana gives a lot of damage reduction in general in in its play kit and a lot of defense. And of course, awakening Eliana is giving healing. Uh, everything works great uh, whenever you have a healing uh, and garwood right so this is like most basic hero pair for infantry uh, units 
The second oldest hero pair is of course Medellin and Niga. Like uh, Niga is gettable from the gold keys and Medellin is like one of the oldest uh, legendary heroes in the game. Uh, the synergy between them is this is more of a damage dealer type of infantry uh, which has a high uh, counter attack damage but itself uh the this like damage by itself by the heroes are highly increased if we're gonna compare it to the like any garud uh and eliana legion uh that's like one of the oldest ones people might already have awakened medaline and the medaline is so has one of the most unique uh skills in the game which is uh, maximum legion capacity bonus up to fifteen thousand, which gives a lot of a uh, like lot of defense and a lot of hp uh, in general, whenever you have more troops than enemy, you are more tanky, right? So that's another addition to this uh, Medellin and uh, Niga hero pair. Uh, the One of the newest and one of the best hero pair strategies for infantry uh, heroes are of course Goresh and Skolgul. Uh, like well, amazing hero pair you have everything you have tankiness you have mobility you have uh damage you have counter attack damage of course goresh will be going as a primary hero now uh, in general infantry and tank talents are one of the best talents for infantry uh, heroes in this game and skolgul like is the best peer uh for the uh, goresh and it will be like this for a long long time and like everything about these two legendary heroes makes them uh, suitable more and more with each other right and they actually look uh, like uh, quite a lot now also one unique hero pair which uh, we got after the introduction of skolgul is uh, skolgul and nika uh, this hero pair is mainly for the mobility you will be basically running around like a cavalry player uh, in general nika also has a uh, movement speed the march speed bonus up to 10 percent in its play kit also like uh, uh, skolgul has mobility talent tree which gonna make this uh, hero pair running really really fast and it will look like that they are cavalry uh, legion that's how fast they can move right this is the basically from the worst to best hero pairs for the infantry play style and infantry uh, heroes of course my main advice would be to get goresh and skolgul but uh, that if you are of course the main uh, like main infantry player Goresh and Skolgul is the must that's the best one so far the artifacts for the infantry uh, legion type is also pretty flexible because you have a couple of ways how you can uh, play around with the uh, infantry with the artifacts also uh, there is two types more defensive and generally more attacking style of artifacts uh, for example, uh, Fang of Ashgari is great defensive artifact for defensive playstyle. That's why for Garwood and Eliana, for example, uh, Fang of Ashgari is great, even uh, for the uh, like uh, Medellin and Skolgul, but depends what kind of playstyle you are playing with. Uh, the for offensive ones, of course, we have more choices. Uh, Spring of Silence, which is which will be helping you to slow the enemy, uh, but it's more generally uh, like attacking playstyle. Uh, the Dragon Rift, of course, uh, that's the pe perfect artifact for Medellin, uh, simply because you are getting physical kin, and on Medellin's first skill, you have synergy with physical kin, uh, which I'm gonna show you right now here like uh, Garen's physical kin increasing physical attack and dragon rift also giving you same effect which means you're gonna dub double buff yourself uh, the other artifacts uh, which like i currently don't have but it's important to know about infantry is of course uh, spirit bone torque that's the exclusive uh, artifact for uh, uh, goresh uh, like amazing artifact uh, so like you are doing you are taunting surrounding five uh, legions which is uh, like the best play style in my opinion for the infantry uh, players uh, the regarding like other artifacts which uh, we can like you can always get uh, for example dragon scale are more again defensive artifact but this is mainly for pay to win players um, this artifact is all about defense it's all about shields and it's all about staying alive uh, the another artifact is Greymar's Warhammer, which is infantry uh, defensive artifact. Uh, these two artifacts are mainly for pay-to-win players because these ones appear for Forge of Light or only on the season-ending rewards. But 
uh, we always have to speak about every type of artifact which you can get currently in the game. Uh, so from the accessible ones, I guess defensive one is Fang of Ashkari, offensive ones is Spring of Silence and Dragon Rift. Uh, for the pay to win and more hardly forget for uh, pre to play players is Spirit Bone Torque, um, uh, Dragon Scale Armor, and uh, Grey Mars Warhammer. Uh, regarding like uh, talents for the infantry, um, uh, leg infantry heroes in general, uh, well, of course, main talent tree is always infantry, but uh, the best talent tree which you can appear for infantry is tank. Uh, not mobility, for example, uh, not support or not uh, like control. Uh, second, like last talent tree is the best one is the tank. Such as like for mages, uh, the best talent tree is skill talent tree. For cavalry, it's mobility. For marksmen, it's precision. And for uh, infantry, it's tank. Of course, infantry will be always the best, like first one, uh, as always. And the secondary tank talent tree, like that's a perfect one. You will be tanky. You will have also healing. Uh, you will uh, be able to stay alive longer in order, order to deal counter attack, counter attack damage more and more. Right. So uh, that's why Goresh has almost the perfect combination in terms of talents. Uh, Madeline has also like one of the most perfect talent tree, like infantry PvP tank. That's why in general, like Goresh and Skolgul as a primary infantry heroes are the most popular and the most better ones so far. Uh, in terms of uh, seasonal talents, so that's a new addition for the um, Call of Dragons uh, in general. We still have to speak about them also. Uh, in general, if you are infantry player, you will be mainly focused on battlefield domination because that's the seasonal tree which is more suited for the infantry players. Uh, from the first choice, glory bound and the swift supplies, uh, like um, depending on your uh, playstyle, if you are more of a fighting type of player, I will go for a glory bound, uh, like. Uh, Maximum stacks is 10 and you will have like 1% more damage if you are generally fighting more and more. Uh, from the Cavalry Vanguard and the Subjector, Subjector uh, well the uh, obvious choice uh, here is of course uh, Subjector. Your legions gain Subjector upon entering battles, increasing their attack by 0.5% every 1 second which is maximum stacks 5. Uh, this one is mainly for cavalry players, which, which like in general, uh, choice is pretty simple. From here, uh, of course, um, uh, the rebound will be the choice whenever your infantry units come under attack from range units in the field. They have a 10% chance to reduce damage taking by 20% and uh, deal counter-attack damage to their target, which is great. One of the most uh, uh, like first enemies of the infantry legion type in general is ranged units, and you have a, a great seasonal talents for the uh, against the like range units as an infantry. The legendary talent uh, for the seasonal talents is like uh, whenever your infantry and cavalry units launch a melee attack at range the legion in the field, they take 15% uh, less. Again, in general, ranged units are. Uh, the first enemy for every single infantry legion type in the game uh, and you are having 15% less damage from them in general which is like uh, the best solution for the infantry troops in general uh, the next uh, legion like next next topic for us to speak is of course warpets uh, in general we have a great um, updates regarding warpets this system is getting better and better more and more uh, we are continuing playing Call of Dragons and in general in my opinion there is like couple of uh, choices in terms of infantry warpets uh, which we are going to speak right now. Uh, of course main uh, infantry uh, warpets are currently Bruin Bear, uh, Stripe Bear, uh, Frost Bear and also for example Sand Lizard and Venomous Lizard, right? So let's speak one by one which uh, like uh, every single warpet what, is, what it gives us actually, right? For example, uh, Frost Bear, the Frost Bear's main talent uh, is uh, uh, unlocked whenever uh, you are getting shield, right? Uh, and you like you're gonna break the shield, which means the frost bear's best possible uh, hero pair will be will be everything with Madeline. 
uh, that's the perfect match in general like first armor and Madeline's play kit is like best uh, match for the in general Madeline also and the frost bear also uh, for the stripe bear the uh, best possible uh, match uh, in terms of heroes are of course Garwood uh, like friendship is all about giving more HP and uh, uh, more healing and Garwood's uh, legion types is always about more healing that's how in general you can stay alive longer uh, for the Bruin Bear that's the best warped for the Goresh and Skolgul playstyle uh, even colors are pretty simple and whenever you have uh, two uh, new legendary heroes coming out and there is one warped which looks kind of similar like similar colors it's easy to understand that they are the best uh, match for the warped and hero pair, hero pair section and of course uh, Bruin Bear is a fighter infantry tank uh, uh, Warpet, which is greatly matched for the uh, Goresh and Skolgul. Also, there is like Venomous Lizard. Uh, it's good simply because of infection. Well, more longer you stay, stay alive during the battle, battlefield, uh, more damage you're gonna apply from the poison. That's why there is a synergy between infantry and this uh, skill and in general for Venomous Lizard. Uh, also for the sand lizard, sand lizard is popular because of the healing uh, and another uh, great pair for the uh, Garwood and not only Garwood, you can actually uh, match sand lizard with any kind of uh, infantry hero pair because it gives you a lot of heals, not for only yourself but for four nearby legions which is a great value in my opinion. Uh, this is the Warped section which is getting uh, more and more popular day by day, it got way easier for us to have uh, multiple star skills for our Warpets, that's why I think uh, you, you need to play, pay attention because Warpets actually add a lot of stats to the uh, legions itself. Uh, that's the details which I wanted to speak about uh, this ultimate guide for the infantry players. In general, in my opinion, infantry is more suited for the tier 5 players. If you are going to uh, main infantry, uh, then I think your main aim should be to get uh, tier 5 units as fast as possible because those defensive increases in HP gives you a lot of survivability and that's how you will be having fun and getting merits, right? Uh, it's I absolutely understand every player who likes to play as an infantry, especially during war. Uh, if you are maining infantry and you have tier 5 uh, legions, you will just march and charge to any uh, legion which which is across you and even if like 10 and 15 legions are targeting you, you will be still staying alive for a couple of minutes, which makes you feel like a raid boss. That's why it's uh, one of the most satisfying uh, playstyles in the game, but um, unfortunately it's mostly costly uh, because you need to have tier 5 units in your legions. Um, now that's my opinion uh, regarding uh, infantry unit type and legion type, uh, like all about infantry in this video. Uh, I like Whenever I'm making videos, I gather all of my experiences which I have gotten from this game. Uh, and I have been playing this game for 372 days, which is not a small amount already. And I have been playing this game 100% free to play player. Uh, I hope you are enjoying the content which I'm trying to make, uh, like every single comment, uh, every single like is gives me more and more motivation to uh, do these uh, uh, amazing videos for this amazing game. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to improve uh, every single day, uh, day, so if you guys like the video uh, and in general the content, press like, subscribe, share, uh, it always brings smile on my face and it gives me more motivation. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you are having amazing day, morning uh, or night, wherever you are, uh, we are going to see each other very very soon, uh, good luck and uh, wish you a great day.